What online videos or DVDs do I recommend for a white belt that's 330 pounds and 50 years old? That is this week's question of the week. I am Saad Al-Aziz, owner and head instructor of Semper Fortis Jiu Jitsu here in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm gonna tackle this week's question of the week. So the question comes from my friend Stomp, who is 50 years old. He's, I think the last time we talked, he was about 330 pounds. Um, he's had multiple foot surgeries. He's had shoulder surgery. And, you know, he's 50, year old, 50 years old, so that there are limitations. Um, and it's really a good question. And I've, I've dealt with instructional videos before, but the way the question was formed was really excellent. And there's a couple different ways to look at it. So it's a good question in the perspective of watching videos that from people who are gonna have a similar style or jujitsu style that you can do. Because if you're 50, 330 pounds with multiple operations, you're not doing the barambolo. You know, you're not gonna be spinning on your back, you know, you're gonna have some challenges, you know, on flexibility. So basic fundamental jujitsu is what you're going to be doing and that just comes with age and injuries like you know for instance i'm 54 years old i'll be 55 this year um i did 33 years in the u.s navy and also with the united states marine corps serving on the ground with them and i've had operations on both my knees um i have serious injuries to my back and my neck um, to my bicep all through military service, because 33 years of military service wrecks havoc on your body. Because people are like, oh, you got that from jiu-jitsu? It's like, no, no, I got that courtesy of the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps. Bless their hearts. So there's certain things that I just can't do. You know, so like we have a black belt in here, Vitor. I want to say he's probably in his 20s. Like he can do the Baron Bolo. And that's awesome. Sad for me, I ain't doing the Baron Bolo. Because I'm just, because of my back issues, I'm not going to do anything that compresses my back or bends over or puts extra stress on my neck. And, you know, after both knee surgeries, I don't do a whole lot of triangles. Not because the triangle isn't a good move or because the barambolo isn't a good move. It's just when I do the triangle, you know, it puts an undue comfort on my knees. And it's like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to put this pressure on my knees. So I do other techniques. So it's really a good question from that perspective. Um, so you want to find instructional videos, you know, where people are doing jujitsu that you can do. So a new wave type jujitsu probably isn't going to be you or a jujitsu that's going to require um, great degrees of flexibility or athleticism. You know, it's like I don't I don't foresee Stomp doing the Barambolo. I don't foresee him doing a cartwheel pass to pass somebody's guard. You know, like there's certain things he's just not gonna do. You know, because he's 50 years old, he's lived life, and um, you know, he's 330 pounds. But basic fundamental jiu-jitsu, you can do. And so, I would say if you're gonna watch videos, um, there's a couple places that I'm gonna recommend. The main places I would recommend are just watching free videos. And I have two friends that run um, YouTube channels and they just throw up instructional videos for free. And free is great because they're, and they're great jiu-jitsu practitioners. One is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Incorporated with my friend Steve Bergeron. He puts up free techniques, um, really in-depth instructions, and it gives, you know, it's free and it's really good. And I competed against Steve in the World Championships, um, the Master World Championships, uh, probably four or five years ago. He is totally legit. Highly recommend Steve Bergeron and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Incorporated. Another free video site um, is uh, my friend Jeremy Errol. He runs Great Grappling, and um, he's been putting up free videos for like 10, 12 years. Like, if you go to his site, you will see like probably hundreds of just free instructional videos. And um, man, I've trained with Jeremy on and off anytime I get a chance, because he's based out of South Carolina. I think I think I first met first met, ugh, first met Jeremy when I was a blue belt or a purple belt. Phenomenal jiu-jitsu. And Jeremy is a bigger guy. He's probably like 
6'3", 6'4", and uh, last time I saw him, I would probably say he was around maybe 230, you know, if I'm overestimating your weight, I apologize, but, you know, the jiu-jitsu he does is jiu-jitsu that older grapplers can do. The jiu-jitsu that my friend Steve Bergeron does is jiu-jitsu older and bigger grapplers can do. There's nothing um, that's going to require any great degree of athleticism to accomplish. So those are the two sites that I, I recommend the strongest, you know, for um, yeah, just free instructional videos. The other site I would recommend if you're going to pay for videos is um, BJJ Fanatics. It's run by Bernardo Faria, multiple time world champion black belt and a genuinely nice man. And um, the nice thing about when he created BJJ Fanatics is, you know, he's vetted them to where all the instructional videos on his site that are for sale are from people that are 100% legitimate. Because that used to be the crazy thing about YouTube and instructional videos is people that were fraudulent would be creating instructional videos. And there was no way to sort of like filter that, like, eh, you know, should I pay a hundred bucks for this guy's video or whatever, you know, the price is. I never really heard of him, but you know, he makes it sound really good. And then you find out, oh, this, this dude's not legitimate at all. And you just spent your money. You know, so the cool thing about going to BJJ Fanatics is Bernardo has already filtered these guys. You know, like he's already vetted to make sure, you know, everybody that's posting videos and selling them on his site are legitimate high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioners. And so I, I would highly recommend that if you're gonna pay your money. But, you know, look for guys, if you're gonna pay your money, you know, that are, um, you know, maybe older or have a more old school Jiu Jitsu style, like, um, you know, Bernardo Fiery himself. You know, I would highly recommend his videos for a bigger grappler or an older grappler because Bernardo, teaches a very um, basic fundamental style of jiu-jitsu that you can do regardless of your size and age. Um, also, you know, Roger Gracie. Um, he is, um, you know, very fundamental and, you know, arguably the greatest um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu competitor ever in the Brazilian jiu-jitsu competition circuit, especially for the IBJJF. Phenomenal grappler. Um, but his jiu-jitsu, when you watch his jiu-jitsu, it's very fundamental. There's nothing exotic. Um, there's nothing that you have to be an incredible athlete or extra flexible to do. So both Roger Gracie and Bernardo Ferraria are two guys I would highly recommend. And I know somebody on YouTube would be like, no, it's not Roger, it's Hodger. No, when you talk to Roger Gracie, he'll tell you his name's pronounced Roger. He doesn't pronounce it Hodger. So, there's that. I know somebody's going to want to make a comment down below. No, you're supposed to pronounce the R as an H in Portuguese. I got it. But when you talk to Roger, he'll say my name's Roger. All right, enough with that. But one thing about the videos that I want to talk about that is really important is when you're a white belt and a blue belt and you're training, you know, at a a legitimate Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school, there's really no need for you to watch instructional videos. You know, like in our school here, we have, I think I got eight or nine Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts that are training on the mats regularly. You know, and they, you know, because we're a military town, they're from all different backgrounds and different lineages. And, you know, for most of your questions and your growth, you're gonna get that just here at the school. The other thing I would recommend, like the way I learn is I've never learned very well from videos, but I learned really well from um, seminars. Um, you know, and there's here in San Antonio, um, you know, I mean, shoot, who just came here? I think, you know, Cyborg has been here. Recently, Clark Gracie was here. Um, there's a lot of good seminars that come to town. And um, most schools are, are open to letting people from other affiliations come and train at their seminars. A lot of times they will, you know, advertise, they'll say, you know, open to all schools and affiliations. You know, Helsing Gracie comes here quite often. Um, you know, there's a lot of like elite 
level um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners that come through. Um, you know, like GFT San Antonio will bring in like Julio, Julio Cesar, who you know founded GFT San Antonio. Recently, Marilio Bustamante was here for BTT. You know, so I would say go train with those guys in person if you can. You know, rather than buying a video. And the other thing, and the thing with white belts and blue belts that I say that you don't really need instructional videos is like learn the instruction that your instructor is giving you daily. You know, like every school is going to vary in how they do their instruction. But like here, you know, I go through every position and it's a position of the week. So, you know, like last week we covered half guard, both offense and defense, top and bottom, half guard. And showed various techniques to it. This week, it'll be side control. You know, next week, it'll be mount. The following week, back. And then the following week, close guard. Then the following week, open guard. And I rotate through those themes every week. And then what I do is I show core fundamental techniques repeatedly. You know, so, I don't know, did I just name like six or seven positions? But, you know, like, you're going to see it. You know, if you're, if you're there for a couple for a month or two, you're gonna see this come up again. So if you learned a cross collar from closed guard, you know, six, seven weeks later, you're gonna be in class, you're gonna learn the cross collar from closed guard again. And then six, seven weeks later, that again. And then what I do is I add in a couple extra techniques that will be different, that may be a little bit more advanced to add to your arsenal. But there's fundamental techniques that I show every week for every position and you just keep going through them. And so you don't need to spend money getting a video you know, from somebody else. And, the, and it's not just the money thing, it's don't confuse yourself. Like if you don't understand all the positions, say for, from side control that I'm gonna show this week, if you don't know all those positions, the, whether it's the escapes, the attacks, maintaining the position, surviving the position, if you don't know all that, then you're hindering your growth by trying to learn some other stuff that there's nobody there to really help reinforce for you. Like you can come to Saturday class and do our question and answer or anytime you can ask me and be like, hey, you know, I'm struggling with this technique that I learned on the video and maybe I know the technique, maybe I don't or maybe one of the other black belts can help you with it. But it's like now it's like now it's out of our wheel box, you know. So I would recommend white belts blue belts, just focus on the instruction at your school. Now once you get to purple, brown, and black, now you've really got a good handle on fundamentals and you've got a lot of moves in your arsenal that you're going to be very proficient at. And then it might be, or it would be beneficial to like do an instructional video for somebody that's similar to your body type, similar to your style, and you know watch that video and maybe learn you know one or two techniques that you can add to your game and grow that way. But as a white belt and a, and a blue belt, like really your focus should just be learning the techniques that are being taught at your school. Because anything else is just gonna confuse you because you already don't, you know, like you don't know all the techniques that are being taught. You know, so adding more is just gonna add more to your confusion because, you know, like most schools you go to, every class they're gonna teach maybe three or four different techniques in a class. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to remember those techniques. Now, what we do here at Semper Fortis is I record you guys and put up on YouTube shorts. They're not instructional videos. I just record you doing them. And if I see somebody that's doing the technique pretty right, I'll just record it. It's just a quick short. And then you can look at the shorts that I've put up on the Semper Fortis Jiu Jitsu YouTube page and sort of refresh your memory on, oh, that's right. He showed us how to do this technique, or he, you know, he showed this escape, or he showed this submission. And it can help refresh your memory, and you can sort of watch what they're doing, and since you've already received instruction on it before, it'll, it'll help be a good learning aid to fine tune that position for you. So I would recommend doing that before you do spend any money. Yes, focus on the instruction at your, at your school, whether you're my school or another school, and if that school, you know, puts up shorts or instructional videos, you know, check those out. 
go to seminars and when you get to purple belt you know start looking at videos you know if you need that to add to your game or you want to add some stuff to your game and I would recommend going free first like BJJ Incorporated, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Incorporated with Steve Bergeron and Great Grappling with Jeremy Arrow. I mean, they got hundreds of instructional videos there for free. And they're all legit. Go check them out. And if you've done all that and you say, man, I still want to spend some money, BJJ Fanatics with Bernardo Faria. That's the way to go. And because all those guys are vetted, so you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, is this a legitimate instructor that's teaching me? It's like, if they're on Bernardo's site, they're legitimate. They've got outstanding jiu-jitsu, and that's why they're there. All right, that's it for this week's Question of the Week. If you've got a question for next week, feel free to fire below. And any agreements, disagreements, make your comments below, and uh, we'll all learn from it. All right, ciao.